So let's say I didn't have a list already. I didn't have this Excel spreadsheet here. I instead needed to type one out. I could choose type a new list and then hit create, which will allow me to create essentially a table of information in this dialog box. So it gives you some fields or some um, columns that are already available to you. So like putting in the person's title, their first name, their last name, company name, address line one, scrolling through, address line two, city, state, zip code, country or region, home phone, work phone, and email address. It's a lot of stuff. Let's say we just need their first and last name, we need the um, office that they work at, and their investment type. So we can go ahead and actually customize these columns right down here to remove or add different columns that are listed. So we can go ahead and like, for instance, I don't need titles, so I can select title and then I can click delete and it will ask me if I want to delete it and I say yes. I'm going to edit company name. I'm going to rename it to be office location and click OK. So that'll change. I can remove address line one, address line two, city, state, and zip code, as well as country and region because I don't need that either. I really don't need home phone or work phone for this case either, so I'm just going to delete those. And then if I wanted to, I could go ahead and add in investment type and I could add in interest rate. And notice it's always going to add right below where you're clicked. So I'm clicked on investment type right now. So interest rate is going to go right below that. If I wanted to move them up and down and reorder them, I can move them up and down by selecting and reordering so that they show left to right up in the columns. I can then go ahead and click OK. And you'll see that the columns will then adjust. So for instance, my first person is Nick Clausen. He's in New York and he gets the Fidelity 500 index. So I could go Nick and then I could learn from tables. I can hit tab on my keyboard and put Clausen. He's in New York. He gets the Fidelity 500 index option, which has a 16.03% interest rate. Okay, that's person number one. How do I make a new person? Well, when you get to the end of a table, we already know we can hit tab on our keyboard and that'll pop us to the new person. We can also click new entry and each person or each item is considered an entry. So then I can go in here and I could put like Madison Cowell, New York, Fidelity 500. So Madison Cowell, New York, Fidelity 500 index and 16.03%. All right, so you can just keep going as you go through. What I also want to point out after you put all your people in is that this needs to create a separate file. Mail merge is always about merging two files together. So in this case, a list and a document. We want to merge those together. So to do that, we have to take this list and save it as a separate file to then merge together with the Word document. So when you click OK after you're done adding your people, it's going to ask you to save your address list. It's going to put you in a default location. I'm going to go ahead and move to my Computer Apps 1 folder. And I'm going to name this Tolano Example List. And you'll see that it will save it as a Microsoft Office address list, which actually is an access database, which is another Microsoft program using for databasing controlling of data. Okay, so we're going to click Save. And if you actually go ahead and go on that next screen, you get to view all your things. But then down here, there's a data source. And data source is essentially where the list coming from. And there's a Tolano example list.mdb. And if I go ahead and I open up my file explorer window for my files on my computer, and I navigate to my remote learning folder, I will see that there is a Tolano example list. And if I scroll out, there are access databases. One of them is open because I'm currently looking at it. When I close it, one of them will disappear. So this is just showing you who you have, where it's coming from. You can sort, filter, duplicates, all this kind of stuff here and click OK. And then if I go back to my file explorer window and I refresh, um, if I'm not using it, it would disappear. But because I'm using it in this file over here, I have a secondary file. Okay, so that's how you can type a new list.
However, we have a whole existing list we want to use. So we're going to go ahead and hit select a different list because you can see that now you're not on type a new list anymore. You're on using existing list because technically you're now using an existing list because you just created the existing list. So we're going to go to um, select a different list and we are then going to go to our files for this class and we're going to grab that Tolano personnel and investment spreadsheet that I gave you and go ahead and open that. It's then gonna ask you, what sheet would you like to use? So if I look at Excel, I have a sheet right here named TA. If I had multiple sheets, I could choose which sheet it was pulling off of for different mail merges. But in this case, I wanted to grab off of that. My first row does contain column headers. So if I look in here, my first row says first name, last name, position, office, et cetera. So I'm gonna click okay, cause that is the headers and now it'll pop all those people in. Notice where it's coming from. And if I scroll through, here's all the people on the list. I can then click okay, and I've now got my list in here, ready to roll for the next step.